It's perhaps the deadliest attack on the Kenya Defence Forces since war was declared nearly 40 days ago. The soldiers, numbering 13, were believed to have been in a military track similar to this one on patrol on the outskirts of Mandera town at a place called Mlima Fisi when the explosion occurred. KDF spokesman Major Emmanuel Churchill says one soldier was killed while five others suffered serious injuries and were airlifted to Garissa for treatment. The military says an improvised explosive device was used in the attack. An IED is a roadside bomb with five components. A switch, fuse, the body, the explosive charge and a power source, usually a battery. They are designed to target armored personnel carriers and tanks and accounted for 63% of American military deaths in Iraq. We just got to show you how dangerous they are. But there's one weapon in Kenya's arsenal ideal for fighting landmines and IEDs that are already being deployed in war-torn Somalia. Military hardware that surprised many including Uganda Member of Parliament Captain Michael Mukula, who was quoted as saying Kenya's military hardware display inside Somalia has certainly raised eyebrows among regional strategists. And while the military has been mum on what equipment is in use in the war, the Kasipe River 4x4 and vehicles similar to the Maruta have been seen in the war zone. And this is what both the South African mine resistance utility vehicles are capable of doing. It is yet unclear what unit the soldier caught in the attack is from, but of concern now to the KDF will perhaps be the use of more IEDs against Kenyan forces, turning this into a new and deadly phase. Robert Nagila, NTV.